Hello everybody, uh, it's going to be a little shorter tonight because we have the Fed later this week, so Wednesday we'll see what comes with that. Um, oh, I almost spilled some wine here. Alright, what we'll see though is indexes SPY still an inside month, but full time frame continuity up to start off the week, so they're trying to go 2-2. Two -two. Just starting to run out of a little bit of time here. We still got, you know, a couple weeks left, about two weeks in a day. Uh, so we'll see if we can get that going, Qs. Gonna have similar, except still a one, right? We go to Dow Jones, still three, two up. So a little stronger than the others. Starts off two up on Monday, and we'll see is that triangle lay out at all time highs, or are we gonna try and keep this thing getting getting bigger and growing? Uh, if we go to IWM, also starts off with a slight momentum hammer day to start the week, and if we go to the week here, it's gonna be two down two up reversal week so we'll see what comes of that they're trying to come back through these guys and then we do not know if we've got you're gonna see that weekly broad information like so um that being said going into tomorrow we've got a few things so on the rev strat list we'll have mdt potential one two two which could cause an inside week break if we go to tmo so it'd also be one two two could cause the two up week it's really just part of those healthcare sector preferring mdt given the month is green we've got the weekly signal uh if we go to xlv healthcare starts as three two two week this week tells us we want to know about that because the month is green the quarter is in force the year is in force we have three signals in force prior to the fed there um if we go to The inside day list, we're going to see good inside day could go up or down, but we'd prefer up for the 2-2 two -two week after taking last quarter's lows back through previous range on the daily chart. If we go to ASTS, this is coming from the Strat Discord, the free side of the things, uh, you're going to see the inside day hammer, which could cause a 3-2-2 two -two week. Still inside month, but maybe you set that up for next month, right? If we go to the year, really blowing them out with the quarter, 3-2 and all-time highs, so we'll see if anything comes of that. Uh, as far as two twos into tomorrow, or actually before I get that, we do have a rev strat the other way, Baidu. Baidu could become the one two two to triangle layout, attempting a three three on the weekly there. Uh, so we'll see, you know, if anything comes of that. Still an inside month, so it's kind of we're scraping the bottom of the barrel there. And on the two twos, DKNG could become a two 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 day, which would reconfirm a rev strat month in force. Uh to the upside, if you get an AVGO. AVGO could become hammer 222 day to cause a 32 expansion week to try and cause a rev strap month in the chips. And then one thing I'm picking out that's pretty strong to start the new week here is VMC. Got a pretty big weekly broadening formation up in this stuff. And you can see 22 week negates the month red to green. So they're starting to come back through some previous range there. And I believe if you go to the daily here, you're also going to see this. So you got the triangles kicking in back through previous range. See if anything comes to that. Um, what I can say is today, as far as observations go, uh, Carvana was a pretty big mover to start the day. And you can see they kept doing that into the close. So we'll see if anything comes to that. Still inside month, but you got the inside year up from all-time lows in Carvana back through previous range. Uh, so they're following through on that stuff to start the week. If we go to Cisco... You're going to see it finishes off weekly magnitude. It was something we saw some members pointing out today, and it was on the observation list. So you'll see they start the week pretty green, and then you get the measured move. Two, one, 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 two, right here, break, and up they go. Reminds me of Kroger. With the two, one, two measured move, and then up they go. You can see given the outside month, this is a gapper from last week. And this is exactly the type of stuff we're looking for. I want to show you. So you see, we get the hammer day and then it's on the gap list. We have expectation of movement because when a gap occurs or when news occurs, such as earnings, the perception of every participant has changed at the same time. So when this turns into two down, two up reversal, everyone turns into a buyer. And if you're short, you're screwed. And then that buying is reconfirmed with the measured move above this. So you can see that hammer day gets reconfirmed by this inside 30. And that inside 30 also confirmed counter of this shooter to go three week, which also gave you to go three month on the gap list. So this is a beautiful one from last week. Love was another great example of this. Notice the hammer. It's the same setup. Two, two on earnings, then boom, blows everyone up. 
and now you got this double inside day momentum hammer for the measured move going into tomorrow so we'll make sure love is on the list tonight as well for the inside day and um outside of that i'm trying to think if i'm missing anything here really the only discernible trend we saw to start off the new day was the regional banks uh were pretty relatively strong and um there was a few so the bwi build a bear workshop some just like you know two two weeks into conflicts like a few things it's just kind of hard to discern uh a lot of trend today there's a lot of monthly signals that are continuing to follow through where if we go and i'm going to scan here and show you so we can just scan enforce month it'll give you any enforce pattern this month so you got 56 enforce this month we scan full time for continuity up it'll give you all the ones that went up today so you can see there was a good chunk of things going up today just not a lot of discernible trend as far as entries uh or any additional simultaneous breaks on the weekly charts given SPY and Q's start as inside weeks. Uh, that's gotta change. And we're still inside months on that stuff, right? Um, when we go and take a look at this stuff, we can take a look at some of the gainers to show you. But uh, you see some reconfirming stuff. So ALLE, 312 month up and following through 332 on the week this week. So it could become a strat attack name. Um, and obviously following through on the year as well. So all time highs is the magnitude. You know, things like BX three or two one two up this month, and you're gonna see in the week still following through. So there's gonna be some stuff following through, just not so many additional reversal signals to start off the new week. Uh EMN, you see inside week and up, FFIV, inside month momentum measured move of that stuff you can see still following through three two week this week so a lot of that type of stuff just continuing verizon inside month with t also blasting off with team mus also starting to blast off with them um if we go to Sorry, I'm missing it. Uh, CMG, there it is. CMG is starting to become 2-2 month and goes inside week up in force. So CMG has got the week and the month in force this week. We will see if that follows through. And I'm going to put that on kind of my attack list or reconfirmation list of things we could go after. Uh, make sure I'm not missing anything here. Looks like the cruise line's got some simultaneous breaks still following through. So you can see CCL three, two up week to start the week. And then NCLH two up, two up week to start the week with monthly signals back through previous range there. Also can tell you ALK. Or was that? Nope, that's airlines, my bad. Um, so we got some of the cruise lines moving. Uh, outside of that, I don't have too much to add for you guys though. So we'll see with the Fed what comes of that SPY. You'll have the momentum hammer going into Tuesday, and then IDBM, you'll have that momentum hammer going into Tuesday. So adios, and have a good rest of your night.